All right, everybody. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up Robot C, and then we're going to go to Robot. We first need to make sure that it's using or look thinking about the right robot in the beginning. So we go to Platform Type. Make sure you have Vex Robotics and it's Vex 2.0 Cortex. Make sure that one's clicked. Then make sure the Vex 2.0 Cortex is checked up top here. And then make sure you have Natural Language Project Lead the Way. Once all of that is confirmed, then you go to File, Open Sample Program. We're going to scroll down to PLTW. Open that one up. And then we're going to PLTW Template and open that. I am zoomed in a little, so I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to zoom in and out using holding the control button and hitting the plus or minus. All right, so it should open you up here. This is where you have your project title, members, date, all of those kinds of things. We'll get to more of this as time goes on. Once this is set up, and the page is like this, I want you to hit File, Save As. I'm going to have you save it into your Z drive. And uh, right now, we're just going to call this 2017-2018 Practice. 2017-2018 practice and then save it then you have to go into your motors and sensor setup once you click that that's up in the top center I believe it's also here underneath robot motors and sensor setup you have a couple different tabs up at the top the three important ones are motors VEX 2.0 analog sensors and VEX Cortex digital sensors 1 through 12 under motors, you're going to type in what port the motor is in, and then what type of motor is there. So all of our motors in this classroom are a VEX 393 motor. Those are the ones you're always going to check. And then you can have it reversed or uh, regular, whichever is up to you. Um, at this point, let's leave that box unchecked. There might be times in the future when you want to check it. And then go through and name the motor. When you do so, and these ports might not be correct, but we're going to type left sorry lowercase first left and then a capital M for motor whenever you're doing things in computer languages we start off with our first letter always being lowercase and then every subsequent word or every word after the first one has a capital first letter and that's just the way they do it don't ask me why at this point uh, so let's say we had right motor so it'd be right and then a capital M for motor and then make sure you fill off the stuff to the right and then same thing with your servo. We'll call that servo motor. And then off to the right, make sure that one comes up as three wire servo. All right, so that's in general how we're gonna set all of this up. Again, those ports might not be correct. I just say that because my students will watch this video and treat it like it's the gold standard. It's not. Same thing over here with the VEX 2.0 analog sensors. Make sure everything is spelled correctly, otherwise you look silly later. So if this is the potentiometer, I can change my sensor type, and then I'm going to call this potentiometer. One of the reasons I sometimes put up sensor type first in this little drop down, because now I know how to spell it. So if you're any of my students and you're trying to figure all that out, do this part first, and then you, we don't have an accelerometer, accelerometer. But put that in first, then you can type it correctly, and you don't look silly later. But fill out all of these. You'll have, if you're my student, you'll have packets out on your desks that tell you which one goes in which port. Make sure it is correct. If you have any issues, please ask me. If you have any questions about this, please send me a message through Twitter. My Twitter handle is Mr. Hartzler Math. Instagram is Mr. Hartzler. Or you can leave a message down in the comments, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. Thank you for all, the, all of you out there watching, and if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, hopefully this video will help you learn how to just do the initial setup. This is for Project Lead the Way. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.